Hi guys! So this is Upside and welcome back to Upside Gaming. So for today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys this new free-to-play NFT game that I found called Wizar. And in this video, I'm gonna review their website by discussing the important things that you need to know like how will you earn in this game and what is the look and feel of the game. And right now guys, I am giving 5 winners of 50 pesos Gcash just by sending a screenshot that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel in my Telegram account which is in the description box below. So if you guys are just new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button for you to join this giveaway. I'll be posting the winners in my YouTube community and post the proof of payment on my Facebook page. But before we start on our content, I just want to thank you guys for all your support because we just reached 1,000 subscribers on our channel. And with your support, I'll continue on making better and more informative content. And let's start! So right now guys, we're inside their website and as we can see here, they're now on their beta phase and you can now download it on the Google Play or on the Windows. So if we scroll down here, so about Wizard. So Wizard is a turn-based game with magical fights of wizards. Wizard aims to create an all-inclusive gaming ecosystem meant for everyone. This NFT game is free to play and makes it simple to earn and leverages creative and rare NFTs for an immersive gameplay experience. So they're saying here that their game is a revolutionary NFT game by becoming a new type of blockchain NFT game owned by players who contribute through actively playing. You can earn scroll tokens by playing, leveling up, or trading while using them to decide the future of the game. So play to earn. As you begin playing the game, the earning process begins immediately. Scroll tokens are given to players as a reward for bringing value into the game in a variety of ways from general participation. So what is scroll token? So this token is the main currency within the game, allowing players to trade wizards and lands. It can also be used for staking to receive various rewards including collectible wizard card NFTs and enhancements. So scroll is used as a sacrifice in the ritual of summoning to create and obtain new wizards. So the ritual of summoning is the way of them breeding new wizards into the game. So wizards. Our wizard characters come in the form of NFTs, specifically BEP721 tokens. They're completely magical and unique, belonging only to you and coming equipped with special designs, statistics, and power. Use your wizard to go on quests and battle against other players in order to win leagues and tournaments. The better and stronger your characters, the more potential that you make your way through to the top of the leaderboard. So they also have here the lands which are represented through the NFT BEP721 tokens. There's only a limited supply of the lands within the Wizar universe and they're scattered among different biomes which determines their powers. You can also rent your lands to other players in order to earn more rewards, allowing you to essentially monetize your own digital property. Oh my god! Wow! So what is Ritual of Summoning? So there are two wizards and one portal. So this is like the breeding mechanics of the wizard game. So just like Axie Infinity, this is their way of bringing new wizards into the game. So they have a limit for using each wizard for their ritual of summoning. So enhancements are special assets within the game. They contain a variety of functional and decorative items to make them extremely customizable. And this game is also offering the crossplay where you can play this NFT game both for computer web browsers and mobile phones. 
So if you guys want to hear more about their latest updates inside the game, you can follow their social media networks from Discord, Telegram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Medium, and Instagram. So if you guys are liking the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So let's continue on their white paper. So we click here on the white paper. And if we scroll down here, so on the free to play and play to earn mechanics. So our goal is to make easy to start without initial investment and also allows players to earn money by contributing to the game's ecosystem. With time, some of free to play players would like to make an investment noticing profitable outcomes in the long term. So this is an example of the progress of a 100% free-to-play player. So if a player starts the game using a free but non-transferable wizard, so non-NFT, this wizard has a limited amount of spells, thus it's harder to fight against standard wizards. However, the players can challenge other newcomers on equal terms. The player plays 1v1 wizard matches. By playing the game, the player earns scroll tokens and can afford to upgrade his wizard to a standard NFT wizard at a low price or buy a new wizard in the game's marketplace. So the player purchases a second wizard and a common land which allows them to summon or create a new wizard. Later, when the player has three NFT wizards, they can participate in leagues and tournaments. Thus allowing them to earn more scroll or win new enhancements to further upgrade his wizards. In addition, a player can stake his scroll on his lands or send his unused wizards to Wizard Adventure in order to receive loot boxes. So if we go back on their website, we can click here on the wizard app. So click on the wizard app. So they have here their marketplace, their staking map, their summoning temple, your list of wizards, your lands, and the bottomless bag. So right now guys, we don't have any NFT on our account, but we can play this as a free-to-play player. So let's go into their game. So right now guys, we're inside their game, and if we click here, so this one here, we can see here the different free-to-play NFTs that they have here. So this is the non-NFTs. So they have here around uh, 4, 7, so 14 free-to-play wizards. And if we go back here and click on this eye, we can see here the different abilities of our wizard. So his inner element is water and his abilities are Krabby, Earth Shield, and Bubble Trouble. So let's go back here and they have here their social media networks like YouTube, Facebook, and Discord. And if we click on this profile, so as you can see, our profiles here is still just guest since this is still just a beta phase. So let's go back here by clicking this guest. So if you guys found any bug while playing this game, you can send a report here by clicking this button here and describe the bug that you found. And you can send it to the developers so they can fix that problem. So now, let's do the quick play. Seven hours later. So what we need to do here is to kill the enemy players using the wizard's abilities. So let's click here on this Krabby. So let's go down here and click here. Uh, okay. Uh, one, so now we don't have any mana left so let's do this one here so we could next and now it's the enemy's turn so as you can see you can use fly but it will cost you the time okay so you can do the fly by using the space button Oh, what's that ability? Okay. So now my other wizard is underneath. So. Except the spellcaster. So we can move here. Ah, 
Ah, no. Ah. I uh, used up all my time. I forgot to use the spell. So as you can see guys, I got defeated here by the AI, so let's continue here. Oh no no no! That's not AI, it's okay. So as you can see guys, I got defeated by the enemy since I'm still not that familiar with the abilities of my wizards. But if you guys get better NFT wizards, you can have better chances of winning these games by getting better abilities. But if you guys have your own NFT wizard, you can use that to get better abilities for you to have better chances of winning this game. So that is all guys that you need to know with regards to playing this wizard game. So if you guys have any questions or suggestions, you can write it down on the comment section down below and we will try to answer all of that. And if you guys like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for you to have a chance of winning my giveaways. So just send a screenshot of you subscribed to my YouTube channel and send it over to my Telegram account to participate in the giveaway. So once again, thank you guys and God bless.